The following is a mag flashlight session, asking for responses using a flashlight. The flashlight is situated between off and on. Two bits of metal inside must touch in order to open the electrical circuit, thus turning on the flashlight. There are many articles trying to debunk this method of communication. While I myself am a skeptic, I cannot deny the timing. I will leave that up to you. This video was edited for time. However, nothing was manipulated in any way. Does this, does this light ever just, st just not turn on? Oh yeah, it can. It'll, the metal work just sits there for hours and does nothing and then... Huh. And that doesn't just do it, like, randomly, it just... I've never seen a mag light before. It's just a, it's a flashlight. We screw it on. We turn it on and off, so we set it right at the edge, so all they have to do is just... Oh, just a little bit of energy a could... A little bit of touch on it, and they can make it go on and off. Oh, wow. Are you trying to freak me out? Because you're doing a good job. Okay. That's not, like, remote controlled or anything? Nope. That just nope. does that? Hmm. I like, is that your wheelchair that you used to get around the hallway? Holy shit. Do you want me to bring Mike out here? All right, I'll go get him. Mike, you are so popular tonight, I'm telling you. Okay, I got Mike. This is Mike. Yes, hi Mike. Do you like Mike? We all like Mike. Do you like dogs? Did you used to have one? Aw, you're missing out. Did you have children? Were you too young to have children? Aw. When everything happened? Oh, oh. Sometimes it takes a few seconds to get it going and off and on. You can't respond right away. Wow. Because of the energy level of the spirit. <clears throat> can they take energy from us? If they want to, yeah. Not all of them can and not all of them will. Some of them, you'll know when they do. Oh. Did you have a relative that served in the war with you? Maybe a brother. Wow. Do you see the three of us sitting here in the hallway? Wow. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Are we bothering you? <gasps> pretty, pretty more than a bunch of paranormal, paranormal groups coming up here. Every night someone new almost. Yeah. Well, thank you for help, helping us communicate with you. <gasps> There's a little machine here. If by chance you could somehow say your name. Right here? You could sit, you could talk to this if you have the energy, or you can make the colors on this move if you can. Okay, can you show me? Did you fight in Gettysburg? Were you injured by a Confederate soldier? Are you happy that we're here? Well, I appreciate it.
Did your brother pass away from the war? Was he injured, shot, wounded? He was. Can I ask you something? Is Mike my stuffed animal dog? Is he this is there a spirit attached to my stuffed animal? I don't really know if you're saying yes or not. <laughs> Do you want to confirm that answer yes again or lighting up the light if you're something? <gasps> so Mike, oh wow, that's so bright. So Mike is really haunted or maybe that's the wrong word. There's really a spirit with Mike. Attached. Attached. Sorry, I don't mean to be rude. Is it a friendly spirit? Somebody who's nice. I don't like that. There you go. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. That's what I was told. Is that like I said, it will somewhat your fever. I'm just so amped right now, you don't even know. During the war, did you have to do any bad things? Did you have to kill anybody in the war? Were you? Mm -hmm. I imagine, huh? Can you turn off the flashlight? Thank you. Wow, thank you. Were you infantry? You're amazing. Cavalry? You were cavalry. <gasps> horses. I love horses. Did you fight around here? A battlefield in Pennsylvania. So it's the battlefields in PA. Is there anything that you want to tell us since we're asking all the questions? Yes. Do you think you could tell us in the voice recorder? Can you tell us how you were shot? Were you hit with a bullet or a cannon? Yeah, I thought it was you guys. Oh, it wasn't you, Rachel. Mm -hmm. Behind me. Whatever that door is, but it's a closed door. This is interesting. I saw you look back. That's why I was like, I didn't, here. I didn't want to like, you know, I thought it was you guys. Well, no, as soon as I heard it, I, I wanted to see because not that I know I'm just... Hearing things, yeah. yeah. Did you know the gentleman that hung himself here in the bathroom? Or mm -hmm. Was he also a soldier? Or was he past your time? That's a lot of questions. <laughs> Is he here with you? Are you stuck? Would you like to leave this building, get out of the hallway? Or you just don't know how to now?
I'm gonna take a picture, is that okay? Yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> All the spirits are in this floor. Light it up when I get to the number. One, two, Serve together. Okay, we got it. You don't have to waste all your energy. Thank you. Did you kill a lot of Confederate soldiers? <sighs> Here you go. Get some. <laughs> Will you answer some... us a few more questions so we can share some people? Yes. Okay, guys, we are live here at Madison Seminary. We're on the second floor of the Civil War building. Apparently, we're talking to a Civil War soldier, correct? Thank you. You fought on the Union side. Right. And apparently you were wounded in action. Is that correct? You were wounded in the war. You stated that you lost a limb, correct? Lost an arm in the war. When was the third time you answered that correctly? Is there something that you would like to tell us from the battle? You have a lot of stories to tell. And we'll give you a little bit of a break. And you can tell us some more stuff in a little bit. We'll be back, okay? Thank you. We'll see you soon.